Previously on Let's Play Football Manager 22, Sheffield Wednesday, we registered our players for the league, then we sorted out our squad numbers, as I wasn't really happy how Sheffield Wednesday in real life has their squad numbers, so I made it a bit more football normal. We continue with our pre-season, our last two games, we win 4-1, and then against NAC, we win 2-1. We choose our captain, Barry Bannon, and keep Sam Hutchison as our captains for the season. Then we go into our first league game of the season. And Byers, what a goal. But unfortunately, Cholton come back. We get a penalty save, but in the second half, we lose it 2-1. And it ends like that. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 22, Sheffield Wednesday. I am Duper Daddy, and I hope you are all well. In today's episode, we look to tweak our tactic. Also, we create a attacking formation and a defensive formation to see out the game. We also play our first round of the Caribou Cup, which we take on Port Vale, and we continue our games into the league, looking to still get our first win. Right, let's jump in and see how we do. All the analytical stuff, love it. Let's have a look at this. So, a such as analysis of the team's performance in our recent match against Cholton. Uh, we can't be too disappointed with the result. We didn't play well at all, and the scoreline reflects that. Yeah, as I said, good, good tight first half, second half, that XG was just stalemate for us. First half match momentum. We were fairly dominant throughout the first half. Wow, I lo I'm liking this. Both Chef Wednesday and their opponents shared a similar level of dominance throughout the match. In the first half, Chef Wednesday enjoyed the better time of things and were generally the dominant team throughout this period. Sheffield Wednesday were poor in the second half and were inferior to Charlton after half time. Yeah, it was definitely a game of two halves, but I mean, I still felt the first half was more tighter than what that suggests. Last match passes. We completed a large number of passes in the match. Seems a lot. Four, four, three, and eight. Oh yeah, because yeah, three and two get fooled quite a bit. Not much ball into Barino. Was that because he just wasn't getting into good positions? Uh, the players shown on the pitch were sl uh, were a sight to behold in the passing department, making a total of six hundred eleven passes. Intermediate analysis. What's this? We have a fairly good quality analysis analyst team with a good number of resources. So the data we provide should be of a decent standard. Improving the quality of analysis team. So I could get a couple more. Right, okay. Uh, last match XG performance. We lost a match and were worse than that. Yeah, okay. Anything on here? Yeah. Oh God. Just that second half. Okay, uh, they completed a large number of passes in the match. So this is them. How weird. It's like passing around here and then suddenly so clustered over here. They won it in midfield. I mean, literally. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six midfielders. In theory, right? Of that, how that's positioned. And one striker. Performance. Okay, so this is where I can fit in my performance on this. Okay, so it's on this side. Place advert, coaching, performance analyst. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it's fine. I have attached a summary of a report on Port Vale as requested. Uh, the team in general possesses a high level of anticipation. Formations phase 442, creating an average of five clear cut. Okay. So I don't know what this, this is really telling me. Nothing. Uh, in their previous five matches, used two different formations. In previous five matches, four different formations. Conceding, have been vulnerable playing against 4 2 3 wide, conceding an average of 6 clear cut. I recommend that upcoming game we should play balanced mentality. Yeah, but my chairman wants me to play attacking, and it's a league 2. Oppositions, triggering a press ball. Should we try this out? I've never. 
done this. So next match only. So I would presume that's this match. So let's do that because you just know that you're going to get into game and we're going to go, oh, recommended action. And it's going to be these keep them bloody popping up, right? Uh, I believe this instruction would increase our chances and uh, low crosses. Okay, they're strong at air. Let's go low then. It's Carabao Cup, it's a great opportunity. Let's have a look at other players. Let's bring in Wildsmith. Uh, let's give it a Dunkley game. Nearest wing. Yeah, let's drop our two strikers. And bring these two on. So, Gregory and Canberry. Let's go. Okay. I mean, there's no reason to panic. We've got 73% of possession, had 10 shots, four on target. Let's continue. Maybe give them a push. I'm not happy. How can you not be happy? Yeah, fair enough. You haven't put a ball in back of the net. You're playing a League Two team, but dominant. You've been unlucky so far. Yeah. Strikers, just not getting it. Patterson, Marino. Everyone else is playing pretty good. That's it, Bannon, come on. Good build up, Patson. Oh, all that. Yeah, we need to make a change. We could attack wing. Position. What are they playing? We've kept their five. We're in midfield. I feel like that we need to press it within here. Probably they just sitting back. I feel like they're just getting, they're just sitting back doing nothing. So, can't should we match them for like do something like that in our attack? Be pushing it free. Maybe what you could do with him is yeah, let's push Hutchison up a little bit, having these two drop down. Maybe try and get a ball within behind before we get to their back three. George Byers. Uh, did we want to change anything on this? Oh yeah, hit early cross crosses, but ball into box. Be more expressive, shorter, get a little bit more direct. Distribute centre backs. Should we get out to Bannon now? That's where they are. Do we push even higher? We are quite high. Do we use offside trap? Yeah. Testing things out. I don't know why, but I still feel like I'm in pre-season. Still early in season. Got to try things out. What we want to do... Where do you save it? I don't want to save it. Save. Please note, tactical changes made during the match are saved to external list. Yeah, it's fine. When you do things like this, you might as well save it and you can just quickly go to it instead of doing it over and over again. It's just an idea on the spot, right? We had to do something and this is oh no counter. Go go go. Go on, Mother Johnson. Nah. Too slow. Something's gotta happen there, surely. Bannon. Barino. There we go. And oh, can we finish it off? All far out of back. Into Patson. Was that offside? Good. That's it. Phew. In for lead now. Um, we'll probably build that when it's a really important game. Yeah, look at that. Look at that XG. We changed formation. Yeah, nice. Uh, well done. 
Duper Daddy for a great tactic which virtually won us a game. Imagine if you could say something like that. Sorry guys, you did nothing out there. <laughs> Just go standard. So next draw, who are we going to get? I'll just do all draw. Who do we get? Sunderland. It's a tough game. We're at home. But Sunderland. Top of the table. One game played. For now, so if I'm training on that formation, let's whack that in actually. Load. Yeah, there you go. So keep that one in there. It worked for us. Played really well. It's two games now. Wow, well, I think nearly every single game we've had to change our tactic and move wing backs up. I think it's our forwards. I don't I feel like putting him as a pressing forward and Barino. Could he be a deal? deal but attacking it. Drop back a bit. Should we try that? I've only got one attacking. Do I need to make buyers attack more? Yeah, let's try that. Actually, do we go balanced as well? Let's go balanced. Make him attack him. Make all three of these attack in because we're quite defensive and supportive here where you need it. But yeah, front three are really attacking. We have a balanced mindset and then we're attacking but really attacking on for whips. And then solid and defensive in for middle. Let's try it. Let's go. Got my Christmas jump uh, t shirt on. Cookie monster. More like mince pie monster because it's all freaking mini in. Mince pies and biscuits. Press conference. My preference is to play on for front foot, and that won't change for this match. Well, we have. We've kind of gone a bit more balanced, eh? That if we need to go attacking, we go attacking. Let's just go for Beva. Neutral one. Who do you think will win League One? Uh, Favourites. Sunderland. Is that bad for me to say? I'd love for us to go up, but why have you picked them as title favourites? Just put pressure on them, I guess. I don't see any real weaknesses in their squad. Uh, a strong unit in all departments. Yep. Good training, Alpha. I, Alpha. Adrian, come on, you should be training really well. You're not going to get my team like that, are you? Let's see what he says. Let's see. Right, what's this one? Uh, next match only. Right down opposition, tackle harder. To get stuck in to try and settle for weak opposition players. Do I want to get players sent off? Anyone heavy? Oh yeah, okay. There's a few heavy. Keep an eye on them. We'll try and keep some sort of consistency. We just changed our team for the last match a little bit. All right, let's see how this slight change in balance and individual attacking with our front three going attacking works. It needed to change. We're at home. We're favourites. Again, let's play like it. Oh crap. Why is he over there? Why is he not man marking? That was a crap chip anyway. Oh, through a defence. Good save. Peacock Farrell's keeping us in the game. Mm -hmm. So this, yeah, this formation is just not doing anything for us. We're at home. Not even holding possession. No, three shots, one on target. It's poor. Yeah, we have not been good enough up top. Is it something on here that we need to change? Playing short, far, uh, playing slow tempo maybe. Playing out of defence might be just putting that pressure on us. I must admit, they was getting balls in behind us, wasn't I? So, do we bring that down a bit? Let's tr change that. Just that one drop down and see if that makes a difference. I still feel like that's quite pleasant. Got a proper pr pl play and press R in the bind. Patterson. Yes. 
see that one little change maybe it stops them getting those balls over us and they're just like oh what do we do now one little change might have been it look at that pressure look at all, like two three four five six seven eight it's like uh, they're playing um that ball overside thing on fifa everyone's just on one side of a pitch still feel that they can get back in this uh, maybe just change your person now. A couple of players playing, not very good. I think Birino is inconsistent. From Gregory. Get rid of Byers. Ring. I mean, we got for goal, that one change. Uh, don't want to drop too much. But because they're playing cluster, do we push into lower? Really cluster for game. I don't want to lose the three points. So this is where we could create a defensive F1 back and just see out the game formation. Bring on Hutchinson. Let's go flat for back. Uh, no nonsense. Let's play this. Yeah. Just want to see it out now. Uh, Wing can just kind of sit in there, keep him as a bit of a taking midfielder. Uh, maybe, you know, really go defensive. And Patson. Target for support. Something like that. N no wing play. Kind of countering wide. Standard. Get pulled up. Is that going to invite too much pressure if we push back like that? Can I just want to get a ball up right? Time wasting. Sometimes, yeah. Be more disciplined. Still want to counter press and counter. Maybe regroup. Distribute quickly. Is that target man? Target forward. Uh, did we drop down one more? Yeah. I think we're quite defensive. So let's just go cautious. Here we go. See if defending was the best way forward, surely. Yes. God, look at that XG second half. That's a, that was a fight. Where was at home? Doncaster's not a bad little team. We didn't play as well as we can, but I'm happy with the result. Yeah, that is true. Where are we now? 13th. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, Please subscribe and to be notified, click on the bell.